Hi, my name's Neil from Light Steer. Today we're going to show you how to fit a power steering system to a lake bay with the help of my friend Kirsty. So we've checked over this steering and suspension components, we found a badly worn steering pivot pin, so that will have to be rectified. It's not absolutely necessary, it's done either before or after fitting the power steering, but it will need doing for the MOT. Gently pry off the horn button using a flat screwdriver. So remove the floor mats if fitted. And remove kick panel. And remove the plastic cover. There's normally five screws to remove this. Remove the lower coupling cover screws. Remove the M8 bolt that holds the coupling flange to the steering box input shaft. Item six. Remove ignition housing and place carefully to one side. I remove outer steering column. then remove steering shaft and coupling assembly. Remove filler plug in the steering box and check the ore level. Using the spacer provided, mark the top tube and cut using a hacksaw. Using the hardware supplied, mount the control unit to the top bracket. Place the unit on the floor, ensuring the shaft is fitted to the steering box.
remove both the driver side dash screws. Lift the dash up. Remove the air box housing to allow fitment of the top bracket. and then remove the top pipe that supplies the fresh air vent. Refit the top bracket assembly. Refit the ignition housing, taking care not to damage washer pipes. Tighten the top tube clamp. Route the wiring loom over the airbox and pass it through the same hole as the original loom. The new wiring follows the original loom through the cross member over the axle, over the belly pans and over the rear axle to the engine bay. Remove the black and yellow wire from the switch, fit it to the piggyback terminal, and fit both wires back onto the same terminal. Fitting the motor wire and the torque sensor wire. Unscrew the speedo cable from the speedo head.
fit the ignition pulse wire to the coil negative terminal. This will have a green wire if the distributor is standard or a black wire if it has electronic ignition. So you refit the wedge and the spring. And the steering wheel. Refit the original shear bolt, making sure that the gap between the steering wheel and ignition housing is around 5mm. Okay, so I fitted the light steer power steering unit. It was surprisingly easy actually. It only took about four hours and I'm no mechanic. So uh, let's start her up and see how easy it is to drive. Off we go. So one-handed, we like it. That's amazing. That's crazy, I can't believe the transformation. It's so easy. My muscles were hurting the first time around and this time it's just incredibly easy. It makes me so much more confident. So I can do this the first time, let's see if we can do it the second time. So, our power steering. Here we go. Oh, that's incredible. First time round and one-handed. Oh, we like this. This is nearly as good as buying a new pair of shoes. 